Hey guys, welcome back to Gunny TV. So this is the last video today on Peacemaker Range in West Virginia. Biggest range out here on the East Coast. So if you want to come over, please do that. Highly recommend it. They have all kinds of shooting ranges down here. Today, we've uh, been out and shot five different guns. If you haven't seen the videos yet, go back and check them out. I have Michael with me today. It's all his guns and we reviewed all of these before so check out the videos today the last gun it's the rock island m1911 a1 fs which is uh beautiful i like 1911s i think everyone has to have a 1911 in his collection so it was not your first gun here it was my second gun the second gun so second that's fine gun. too yeah i mean but uh <laughs> it, it, it was a little weird because i did not necessarily plan on buying it, but I was at a gun store and they had it in the used gun section and I looked at it and it was there for $3.99, so you can't leave a 1911 sitting around for $3.99. I'm sorry. I had the guy, guys, so... 400 bucks Oops. for a 1911. <laughs> and it's not a bad 1911. I know many people are like arguing about like which is the best 1911. You have to get this one. Well, I mean the best Kimber. 1911 get... is the original 1911. Exactly. Because those things are around for over 100 years now and yeah. they still work this is a rock island it's made in the philippines but hot damn yeah it's pretty it's nice rock island that's a good gun pretty basic we have a night we had a 1911 before on the channel i remember i don't remember which one it was but um i don't think it was a rock island so this one's fairly new review it's not a huge review chambered in 45 acp as it has to be there's no other there way to do that God's guys caliber. Yeah, we, we saw someone today shooting a 1911 in 9mm, sorry, had no respect for that guy. So yeah, what comes in mind to me every time I have a 1911 in my hand is the Punisher movie. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like his. It almost looks like it. That's right. It's just like, a little shorter. It's a little shorter and you need a comp, but yep. still. You the comp on there <sighs> and two of them. <laughs> Dude, that feeling, punching yep. out that gun is like. <sighs> you got something in your hand. With yeah, those. you got something in your hand. I mean, look at the color scheme. It, it's pretty nice. Silver, black, matte, like... Blued. I think it's blued. Yeah. That's what they call that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it looks really nice. And something I've seen with no regular 1911 before. What was it? I don't know. Is eight rounds the common thing? I know Kimber does it. They came up with it in first oh, place, I believe. Interesting. When they came up with the uh, Custom 2 for LA SWAT. Yeah. I think that was the first 1911 model in with eight bullets in the magazine. Eight, crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's eight round in the uh, in the magazine, which is nice. So you can go for nine, yep. eight plus nine, uh, eight plus one, eight plus. And nine. it also yeah. actually does take Kimber magazines. Oh, another another upside for this gun. Yeah. Pretty nice. I don't have it on me right now, but I yeah. do have a Kimber magazine. As a yeah, one. <laughs> it fits. It just kind of gives you a little trouble sometimes. So, so when so inserting, tight. I think you see that on the video, that like when releasing the slide, it did not went forward 100%, but like a little clap on the back yep. and it went in battery. So pretty fine. So yeah, you have not some nice uh, um, rubber grip tapes on here, which I think let it feel super comfortable. Yes. Is there anything else you want to say about your gun i mean there is not much to say it's a 1911 everybody knows 1911s and some and everybody people should love them. know them yeah some people love them some people hate them yeah i, I don't them. understand the people that hate these gu uh, guns because like they've been around they're battle proven yes they don't have the biggest ammo capacity but still it's a beautiful gun and it's a beautiful piece of art yeah if you don't have that in your collection i think you're for, missing out been around for over 100 years Doing its job, still doing its job. Still doing its job. And, and you can uh, still modify it like Yeah, it actually degree, has I, an adjustable trigger. Yeah, that's like right out of the cool. box. It has an adjustable trigger. You see that little screw in here? Yeah. Which And as far as yeah. I was told, the 1911s do have like stock trigger. Stock, yeah. yeah. I mean, adjustable stock trigger. Come on. A adjustable, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's still, I think that it, it's a different kind of trigger compared to all the polymer yeah. or striker fired. And it feels so satisfying whenever you pull that back. It's just satisfying. It's like it the sound it makes. The sound it makes. It goes back and it stays there. It's not like 
spring back and forth like mm. you sometimes have with like polymer triggers. It's beautiful. So if you want a nice piece of steel, get yourself a 1911. <laughs> that one is really fine. I would go for that. I'm, yeah. I'm really I serious. Mean, get a Rock Island, they're relatively cheap compared to others. If you want to go all out, get a Kimber. Yeah. Get a Kimber. I don't know, there was another brand like that was super expensive. I don't remember, I don't recall. I've had a 1911 made by Schmeisser, which is a German company. Mm, yeah. uh, it's called the Hugo Schmeisser. Uh, and it was it was amazing. Didn't, like, they, didn't they make the MP40 in World War II? Uh, they did, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> they did. But still, like um, their, their uh, 1911, was crazy like the fitting and everything the way the slide moved it felt crazy good there's still people hating over that gun too so like yeah. like they normally do yeah. people hate about everything don't hate enjoy yeah. guns love guns just like we do yeah. and that's why we do that videos for you if you like these videos come back watch the other ones now we have a regular upload scale again i guess like every week one video stay tuned and thank you for coming. Have a good one. Have a good one. Genau, ich habe nur Buchstaben gemacht. Alles gut.